안녕하십니까. I am Dr. Ashwin Sathe. I am from India. Uh, so from this fellowship course, uh, I got to see uh, endoscopic spine surgery in detail. Uh, when I was in India, uh, there were really not many surgeons who were uh, doing endoscopy with whom I could train. For me, uh, getting exposure to endoscopic spine surgery at Wuridul Spine Hospital was very important and uh, I really enjoyed uh, seeing endoscopic and minimally invasive microscopic spine surgeries. Uh, so the main difference between uh, where I came from and uh, in Guridul Spine Hospital is uh, the focus and uh, emphasis on minimally invasive spine surgery. That is, uh, in this hospital we try to preserve as many normal structures as possible without uh, disturbing them, not fusing the spine and preserving the disc as well. So I have been able to speak with uh, Chairman Lee many times and uh, what I could understand that he has a very uh, focus on preserving the disc and preserving normal tissues uh, and doing every surgery with a minimally invasive approach in the least amount of time. So I think that is very important for the patient as well as the doctor to speak about the most important and interesting case which I saw here which I had not seen uh, before uh, was one of the cases of a 70 year old female patient uh, who had uh, back pain and myelopathic changes. Uh, so on the MRI we could see uh, OPLL at the T8, T9 level. Uh, so what we saw, I, the surgery which Dr. Bay performed here was uh, an amazing technique of partial corpectomy of the thoracic spine. So basically patient was put in the lateral position, approach was done uh, to reach the spine. He drills out the posterior half of the vertebral body uh, without exposing the spinal cord. It is an amazing technique of doing achieving decompression without actually uh, trying to expose the cord. Uh, at the same time, I have seen him performing similar similar surgeries where he actually uh, completely decompressed the cord uh, physically as well uh, not the indirect decompression but direct decompression as well so i saw these both techniques and before this uh, treating thoracic uh, opll was a really tough task with a lot of blood loss uh, large operative time and we had to fuse this technique was uh, minimal blood loss smaller incisions uh, no fusion required no screws need to be put no uh, instrumentation so I felt it was a very uh, useful, unique and new technique. Mm, Dr. Bay was good. Mm. So uh, when I will go back to India, uh, I am definitely going to apply all the principles and techniques that I've learned here. Uh, my goal is uh, to have uh, a practice with a focus on endoscopy. I think this will be very beneficial to uh, the Indian people. Uh, we have a great opportunity there uh, to popularize this technique and using of uh, best of the best technology. Definitely, I think uh, I have recommended uh, Uridul Spine Hospital to many of my colleagues and juniors. I think uh, all the doctors working in Uridul Spine Hospital are the best. Uh, like everybody has uh, amazing skills. Uh, I have observed cases of almost every doctor in this hospital and every time I get to learn new things. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Bay has been uh, very kind to me and he is so knowledgeable, uh, so skillful and so kind and uh, he really has helped me a lot during my uh, fellowship training. Also, uh, when I uh, interacted with Dr. Shin, uh, when you see him, he is very calm and composed uh, and he does not speak much but when you ask him questions, he explains you so well that uh, I have learned so many things, particularly in endoscopy, how to plan uh, your approach, uh, then uh, identifying the structures and what are the philosophical differences between uniportal, biportal endoscopies and uh, how the techniques should be applied and I think uh, Dr is going to write a new book for on endoscopy. I'm really waiting to read that book now. <laughs> Thank you so much all the doctors uh, and uh, staff in the Virudul Hospital. Gansam Nida, all the doctors in Virudul Byongwan. Anyaigaseyo!